Hey there folks, I'm just going to do a quick run through of working with the um, uh, the bony rig. I'm um, going to show you how to set up a layer, how to hide things on that layer, things that you don't necessarily want to select. And um, so let's, uh, let's go through that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my project. I'll go to set project. I have this on my desktop here. I uh, just got to find it. There it is, Bony Rig, and hit Set. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is go to File, and I'm going to go to Open Scene, and I'm going to go to the Start Here. And it, I'll, I'll hit Don't Save, and we'll wait for this to open up. There we go, and there we go. And we'll just wait for the file to open up. So there we are. So um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create <clears throat> um, a couple of, um, of other um, layers here. So you can see here, I've actually already created one called Torso Squash Controls. And you can see that there. So um, I've hidden those away. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to hide away the FK switches um, on the arms and legs because we don't need them for the posing that we're going to do. Um, We'll deal with that next term. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll navigate over and I'll select both of these controllers. So there's one and there's the other. Um, and then I'm going to select these two as well. So I'll hold down shift and then select these two. Then what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'm going to click on this button here that is create a new layer and assign selected objects. So there it is. That's layer one. I'll double click on the layer and I'll rename it. We'll call this IKFK um, switch and I'm going to make it not visible and I'll hit save so now it's hidden away um, and if you want you can actually choose a color for that as well so I know that my custom stuff is red so there we go I'll add that to the red and there we are so let's do another quick walkthrough just like we did in class the other day of the tools that are actually available with this rig I'm going to zoom out here just a wee bit and then I'll grab the uh, main controller here, hit W to activate the move tool. And with this, I can actually translate or rotate or even scale the overall character. Um, you can see all of those controls right here as well. Um, the, the next controller that I'll talk about would be the hula hoop here, which is the root controller. And with that controller, you'll notice that you can actually um, control the up and down of the hips and well the overall rig it will cause the knees to bend because the legs are currently in IK mode um, let's talk about the feet really quick we'll zoom in on them there we are uh, you'll see that you've got two controllers on the feet one of them is your translate and rotate but it also has the ability to activate or deactivate the stretch on the legs um, it's got knee lock uh, foot toe heel ball uh, there's all kinds of other controllers in here and if we want what you could do is you could actually like let's say we go to heel ball here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to middle mouse click and drag in my viewport and you can see the effect that you're going to get with that yay all right, um, and again, you could also just um, select the transform on the foot as well and move the foot around, or you could also rotate the foot. Okay, um, and then you also have this controller here, which is um, your toe IK, um, and um, you can see that it gives you some extra control of that. Um, I don't use that one very often, um, but that's not to say that it's not a useful tool. Um, up here I have the pole vectors for the knees and what these do is they allow me to actually change the orientation of the knees. Um, so if I have a pose and I want you know to, um, to animate or to um, affect um, the, the rotation of the knee on the leg, like have it point out a little bit more or whatever, I'd use that controller. Now the other important thing here is the follow. Um, you can actually choose to tell it to follow the main node and it would stay in front of the main or the feet or the hips or the foot and the hips when we actually do walk cycles i'll start to show you what that means um, let's do another um, adjustment here have a look at the spine controls with the spine controls and i'll include the neck in that um, we actually have the ability to rotate the spine um, and you'll see that i can actually cause the character to bend um, and also you know to you know move from side to side 
um, that can get a little bit crazy or even to twist. There we go. Um, so that's those controllers there. And moving up the spine, we also have our head controller. Okay. Um, really quick, let's talk about the arms. Uh, for the purpose of our pose tutorials, um, or our pose assignments, sorry, um, I'm going to suggest that we just work in FK mode for the arms, that we learn how to um, you know, pose the arms using that. So what we have here is we have a couple of clavicle controllers, we, which will actually allow us to hunch the shoulders and things like that. So it kind of gives us a little bit of inside the shoulder um, control. Um, then what we actually have is the shoulder controllers, and they will allow us to rotate the arms. We have the elbow controllers. And again, um, this would allow us to, uh, to rotate the elbows. But you'll notice that there's only a single rotation available there. And while I'm there, I'm going to say this. When I do posing, what I always like to do is I like to work with the hardest things to pose first. And so in this case, on the arms, I would say that the elbow is one of the hardest things to pose um, because it's one of the easiest things to pose. Now, that sounds weird, but hear, hear me out on this. You can only rotate it one way, so if your arm has to be bent in your pose, put it into the bent position first, and then think about the upper arm and lower arm rotations. So let's say that you know I, I wanted to rotate my you know, hands at this point. Um, I might actually just rotate them like so, you see? Um, and then I get the pose that I want to have. So, and we have thumb and finger controls as well. So, there you have a quick walkthrough of how to pose um, the bony character. Um, if, yeah, if, if you have any questions, um, you know, we'll be sure, we'll be doing a lot more of this in class in the coming weeks. But, um, yeah, play around with this, see what you can do with it. And, uh, you know, if you break it, well, make, just make sure that you don't save it and reload and start over. All right, thanks, we'll talk to you later.